Hi, Nathan with Complete Water Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about and taking apart this continuous electronic deionization stack. And this particular EDI stack or electronic deionization stack has mixed bed resin in it, both cation and anine, as well as membrane materials, supposedly, and a cathode and anode rod, which helps function the continuous regeneration portion of the continuous electronic deionization. So we're actually going to take this apart on video for you guys. Uh, stay tuned and continue along with us. So this is where you would hook up the electrical for the CDI stack. So you have your uh, negative, your DC current. So you'd have your negative and your positive. Um, some other terminal strips if you're maybe jumping over to another stack. Um, so if you look, come over to the other side, same thing. So we just removed the cover plates off. And that's what we got. And you also got your ground wire too. So there you are. So I just noticed on this side. So we have our positive here for our uh, DC current and obviously our cathode rod should then um, be on this side of the EDI stack should be inside of the EDI there so if we flip around to the other side then our DC should be right here so when we start taking this apart our uh, anode rod and our cathode rod should be uh, subsequently uh, located there and um, so we'll see as we take this thing further apart where we are at and what's inside. Now we're gonna go ahead and tilt the, or tip the stack on its side so that way we can actually uh, take these end bolts off. As you'll see on this side, the bolts are smaller and the caps are smaller. So we're gonna put some wood or blocking up on this side and we're gonna go ahead and tip it on its side and then take the top bolts off and then start removing plate by plate.
right, so now we got all the bolts off. And let me tell you, that was a work. Uh, definitely took a lot of effort there. And to my helper, Lucas, my 14-year-old son, he's with me today. And uh, we were able to successfully get all the bolts off. So as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of water coming out, which is probably normal because this unit has been sitting in our shop for a while. And I don't think you can really get these fully drained without really taking them apart. So let's go ahead and start taking it apart here piece by piece and seeing what we got because this is a little interesting. So, all right, so let's get the top piece off here. And it looks like, looks like there's a plate. Yep. So looks like if we take the top plate off here, well, we got some bolts left on there, but it looks like we've got we've got uh, a, a gasket of some sort here at the end. Um, so we'll go ahead and set that aside. Looks like next we've got our plastic looks like plastic or maybe Teflon uh, plate. And as we pull this apart, as we it would expect to see some resin in there. So there's there's our resin. Um, let's take a look and see what's underneath this resin. That'll be interesting. Let me go scrape this off real quick. Okay, so, you know, when we took apart the, the plates where the electrical connections were, we saw a connection for our cathode and our anode, and we had wires that were attached to these little stem plates. And if we look on the inside here, we can see what appears to be maybe a metallic plate or something to that effect that would be our cathode or anode rod um, that would be having current run through it. And it's touching the resin, right? And we got gaskets all the way around here. We've got several gaskets, obviously to keep water from leaking out of the stack itself. But so this would be pulling, um, I think this was the back side. So or the front side, so it was our uh, anode rod. So uh, we would be pulling positively charged ions, calcium, magnesium, uh, towards uh, this particular uh, plate here, which would be having uh, a direct current to it. So that's interesting. So next we got another plate here, and it looks like it's just the spacer plate. And it's got some gaskets and stuff on it. And so here we go, we have, uh, oh, look at this, more resin. So we talked about it having cation and anion resin. So it looks like there's um, resin here. Um, and to be honest, um, it's kind of hard to see here on the camera and with the lighting and everything, but it almost looks like um, either cation or potentially even mixed um, resin that it's in here and then there looks to be some sort of membrane or cloth material and as you can see here which is the next layer below this and remember our, our cation uh, our cathode was on that top piece there our anode and it looks like we have mixed bed here but it's separated right so we've got cation anion cation anion so that's interesting and in how that's that's set apart and we've got gaskets right to keep our water flow uh, a perfect. Now, while you can't see it here on camera, I'll try to get in a little bit closer. Actually, I'll just take my, uh, my phone out for this one. Um, while you can't really necessarily see it 100% um, that well, but there is a perforation that allows the water flow through this plastic piece. So our inlet and outlet connections were uh, we're sitting actually in between here and it will have our piece. So while you can't necessarily see it all that well here, there's a picture to show you that it was the location of where our water ran in and out. So, go so it looks like, yeah, it looks like the water came in, came in through these spots here. And it looks like uh, down here is where the water would end. So, you know, there was two hoses that were hanging off the end of the EDI stack in the beginning, and one's an inlet, one's an outlet. One's your uh, inlet for your waste, and one's your outlet for your waste. And there's little perforations here 
And while it's hard to see on camera here, but there is actually a connection that goes to the inside uh, where, where the water's flowing through and, and obviously it's flowing through the resin at that point. So interesting again to kind of see that. And so here we are with our next layer, right? Uh, like I said, our cation, anion, cation, anion uh, layer. And it looks like maybe a layer of mixed bed below. So let's go ahead and pull this this one off and, it's, and I got to be careful because this stuff looks like it was going to slip through earlier. I'm going to go ahead and toss that and you can tell um, that the spacer sheets or you know I've been told that this is membrane material. Um, you can kind of tell that the membrane material is a little different so you know um, on some stacks uh, you know, you can see there's a difference, right? White and this one being a little bit darker. So my guess is that it's two different membrane materials. I've been told in the past um, from some manufacturers that it's a cation and anion membrane material or potentially a cation anion coating that's on there. So that's probably what my guess is what that is, uh, the differences in color. That's essentially how this particular unit is assembled or made. And so we're glad that you guys got to witness this with us. Uh, this is the first one that we've done in house here and just always wanted to take a look to see what was inside of these. We've replaced plenty of them. We have sent plenty of them to get rebuilt, um, but it was kind of cool to see what one looks like in the inside. So again, Nathan with Complete Water Solutions. If you need an EDI stack or you need some consulting or potentially you want to get these rebuilt, uh, feel free to reach out to us and give us a call at 855-787-4200. Don't forget to check our website out. We have a lot of different troubleshooting. We have free RO training up on our website as well. Hey, and lastly, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button for us. It really helps us out and helps us determine what's beneficial for you guys or what you like to see. And as always, have a great day.